Making just a few tiny changes to the way you work in SOLIDWORKS can save you hours a month, so watch on to find out my favourite five speed hacks for SOLIDWORKS. The first tip is one of the easiest and one of the things that's going to make you faster in SOLIDWORKS straight away. The humble S key gives you a flyout toolbar which gives you contextualised icons depending on the task you're trying to achieve. So in the sketch window it gives you access to the most commonly accessed sketch tools. So anything from a rectangle to slot tools, lines and critically the dimensioning tool which is something that I use every single day. But watch until tip 2 because there is a better way to access the dimensioning tool. But this S key works throughout all the features of SOLIDWORKS and all the different sub-programs such as drawing, simulation, etc. By pressing the S key, it just allows you to call out the most commonly used tools for that particular function. You can customise it through the Tools Customise menu and that's something that we'll be going back to again and again in this video. Tools Customise, here we have shortcut bars and you can customise each of them for parts, assemblies, drawing and others. Tip two is mouse gestures, and if you're not using these already, it's absolutely gonna change your SOLIDWORKS experience. By clicking and dragging with the right mouse button, it allows you to have a little fly out toolbar that looks like this. Now to follow the same thing that we'll revisit again and again in this video, Tools Customize allows you to choose what goes on these little pop out mouse gesture windows. So here we have parts, sketch, assembly, and drawing, all with different things on, and you can choose between anywhere between two and 12 gestures. Personally, I find 12 gestures it's just way too much and two gestures doesn't give me the functionality I need. I've got really used to the eight gesture system and it's something that speeds me up every day. Getting more advanced now, sketch relations is all about design intent. So here we have a sketch with a lot of different circles. Now if I wanted them all to be a certain size, traditionally I would have to go through and dimension every single one up and on a complex drawing that can take a lot of time. Now if I know that all these want to be the same size, I just simply control click to select all the circles and then choose the equal relation which tells SOLIDWORKS that they're all the same size. Now instead of having to change them all individually I just change the original and they all pop to exactly the right size. There's lots of different relations and it's worth learning them all if you're going to really master SOLIDWORKS and improve your speed. Number four is again getting quite advanced in its equations and parametrics and this is an essential skill if you're thinking of taking the CSWA exam and do check the card which pops up here if you want to learn more about that. Now, in a traditional design, what you have to do is go in, edit the sketch, change the dimensions. If you get a design change from a customer, what you've got to do is go in, edit the sketch, change the dimensions. Instead, there's a better way. Simply change the dimension, but instead of entering a number, hit equals, apostrophes, a variable name, something sensible, close the apostrophes, click OK. And then in the equations menu, which now pops up, you can choose manage equations and you can manage all of the different variables that you've set up simply by changing the values. In this example there's only two variables but I've set up drawings in the past with 10, 20, 30 different variables and going and changing them all individually will be an absolute nightmare and would really slow me down. The use of parametrics and equations is one of the key differences between the amateurs and the pros. If you haven't already, you really need to set up your own keyboard shortcuts if you're going to be as efficient as possible. Again, we're going to go to the Tools Customize menu, and from there you can view all the default SOLIDWORKS shortcuts, but you can also set up your own, which is really going to make a big difference to the way you work. I've got a few favorites, and I'll be doing a video on my own personal SOLIDWORKS setup, but a feature of this window that people often miss is the search function. Simply type in the command you're making a shortcut for, and away you go. Once you've made all these changes, you're going to be able to want to export them if you change machines or SOLIDWORKS versions. Tools, Save or Restore Settings allows you to select and export all your registry and personalizations. Before you go anywhere, check out HLAPS1990, HLALPS1990. It's a fantastic channel. The guys are serious engineers and made an amazing micro lathe project. So have a good binge watch of his videos. I've learned a lot from them. I'm going to be hopefully replicating some of those initially on the 3D printer and then later on the down the line through some good old manual machining. So that link's below, along with a link for the Javelin SOLIDWORKS blog. This is one of my favourite places for picking up SOLIDWORKS tips. I'm in no way affiliated to them, but do make a habit of reading this because you're going to learn some cracking tips. Also, do subscribe, like, and comment to let me know what your favourite SOLIDWORKS tips are in the comments below.